Greetings all, Fanny here for Sagittarius' weekly message. Sagittarius, it is also the 100th message that we have done together. Okay, interesting. Spirit, besides the two cards that have come out for Sagittarius, thank you. That is your final. Ooh, that was the pink one that I had seen flip over. So uh, thank you, Spirit, for bringing this back. So Sagittarius, you have the Maiden that came out for you. I was seeing this pink flip over. The first two cards that you have are the Cave and the Flame. Now, I have received the Cave card personally. It was in reference to a sense of healing and acceptance of the inner shadow and aspects of ourselves that we have often had a quarrel with. I'm very interested to look up the Maiden and the Flame in the book, as this is a new um, Oracle deck to us, and I don't in general know a lot about it. I am referring to the book on a couple of these. So give me a moment, my love, while I defer what these cards mean for you. Sagittarius, you have an amazing message here. I actually went back through and read all three passages for these. The Maiden is, of course, the first representation of Maiden Mother Crone. She is the most naive and pure sensuality and passion for life. Yet she has so much to learn. The Maiden is often drawn to things very much outside of the ordinary. Dark forest, eerie, eeriness in and of itself. And that is where we lead towards the cave. The cave was speaking of finding a deeper truth in yourself and bringing in balance and harmony and reigniting that flame of passion that lies inside of you that so many of us will never see because we are so afraid to go into that cave and into that darkness and to find that fire and find that passion. And then you have the flame again. Fulfillment of fire, passion, the direction and enjoyment of life. Sagittarius, you are fire. You are the last fire, so you are also the most balanced, pardon, and harmonious in it. You would not burn out of anger or fear as a Leo or an Aries might. You are more illuminative, much like a beacon or a lighthouse. You are very drawn to the curious and innately strange. And that is what makes you so beautiful. That's what makes you so incredible. Is you didn't stop wanting to learn. You didn't stop wanting to explore what this world had to offer you. You have adjustments are required and hold your vision. As we're coming through the challenges of our life, we will have to adjust. But even look at the moons here. That is because we are missing a piece of the puzzle. It's not that we've done anything wrong or wasted our time. It's simply we've reached a point where we understand everything we can from this perspective. And now we have to shift and see things entirely differently. And there's nothing wrong with that. Show the world the real you. I was about to say Aquarius because that's the card, but Sagittarius. Show the world the real you and don't be afraid. Like even there, there is another maiden. There is another woman reaching out. That is amazing. I almost said Aquarius again. Sagittarius, you are amazing. Surrender to the divine, my love. This fear, this anxiety, this doubt of I can't go to that place. I can't go to that that deepness inside of me, it's too vulnerable, it's too raw. That is fear, trying to keep you in a place of lack, where you're constantly going to be engaging and allowing lower vibrational negative energies into your most sacred form and vessel. When you do deserve so much more, you do deserve so much happiness. But if we have not received it in our lives so far, we so often think that we don't deserve it or we are incapable of receiving it. So we accept less than what we deserve. 
Surrender all of that fear and that lack mentality to the divine. Surrender lack to the divine because we have no place for it. And mother, mother will recycle our energy. Mother will take from us that which we do not need, especially when we give it so freely. Step out of your comfort zone so mother can bring into you these new blessings and opportunities. My love, you cannot stay where you have been. You also have a romantic, a new romantic cycle begins. That is only if you want it, Sagittarius. I know not everyone. It's 444 on my clock right now, the time of recording this. Not everyone is open or ready for a romantic relationship. Not, not everyone even wants or desires a romantic relationship. That is perfectly fine. What I want you to do is fall in love with yourself again. Fall in love with your life. You have the storyteller intention. I am the narrator of my life. Absolutely. And you have the star mother loved. Universal loves and the universal mother loves and supports me totally. And the star daughters dance. I sing, dance, and play with my sisters at sunset. There's some beautiful divine feminine energy coming in here. Energy of creation, care, compassion, healing. If you are a man, you still have divine feminine energy. It doesn't matter what you're born as or identify as. I myself as a woman have divine masculine energy. And as a matter of fact, have leaned into that more frequently than I have my divine feminine. Because people see divine feminine as inherently weaker. Because they are not going out there destroying the world. But that makes them weak. No. It's actually incredibly strong to have a female heart. To have that divine feminine care and compassion. It's incredibly strong. Because we know people will take advantage of that. Because we know people will see that and want to use it for their own good and their own benefit as opposed to finding that love in themselves. They would just rather take it from us because it's so readily available. They have not done the same work that you have, my love. They were too afraid of this cave. They did not go in and learn of its mysteries and its wonders and its teachings. They didn't tap in to their higher selves to learn to trust themselves entirely and instead of doing the work themselves they would rather just take it from you because that's easier i am entering a portal of euphoric love the moonstone star comes back to your passion that we were speaking of and the maiden card i also want to bring out the Dest the diamond star of destiny I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. That is beautiful because that goes back to the cave in the flame. The passion, the root of that fire that you came here with Sagittarius. It may have been quelled out or almost distinguished by the society, but you found it. You went in and found yourself and you fed that fire, you fed that flame, and now it is a beacon. Now you are working towards a place where you can guide others out of their own darkness, out of their own fear, and say the cave is something not to be afraid of. Yourself, your power, is not something to be afraid of. And I think many of us are. I think many of us are afraid of our powers, afraid of our gifts, because when we're not taught what they are, they come up in so much as behavioral disabilities, learning disabilities, and unconscious rebuffs that get miscalculated and misdiagnosed. When it is something that we are raised around, sometimes we are raised around in the egos and taught to use magic maliciously, to use magic out of hate or greed or to overpower someone. And you technically can do that. But you won't be doing yourself, your higher self, or anyone around you any good. Because to cast out of that kind of energy, you have to feel that entirely. And law of attraction, my love. But you have so much passion. You have so much beauty and love and sexual energy that should be explored. So please do explore it, Sagittarius. Life is meant in living.